Hi, everybody. It's Eamon here with another episode of Pat Monk Presents. We have a very special guest today. We have Blanca joining us all the way from uh, Lion Safety. Welcome <laughs> to the podcast. How are you? Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. All the way from Lion. <laughs> <laughs> all the way, all the way. So uh, <laughs> great to have you on the on the call. And uh, I was looking a little bit into your website before the podcast. But for those of our listeners that aren't familiar with Lion Safety, if you want to maybe give a quick introduction or an overview, why is it you do and how you help people and businesses? Yeah, so Lion Safety is a company, a Scottish company, a Scottish company. <laughs> <laughs> and we provide a health and safety workwear for infrastructure companies along with tools. Basically, this is the main business of the company. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. And with this, what do you find like, like, is there any specific main industries that you're focused on? Or where do you find most of your business comes from? What well, we have two approaches. Um, the old school approach, I said old school approach, because it's in the way that people were all the time making business is a call marketing. Mm -hmm. Uh, but also we start in our journey one year ago with, um, as I say to you early on with the HubSpot and because we want to generate leads and because we know obviously the relevance of SEO content and be there for our customers online. So we are focusing now, one year ago, we start focusing on a strategy to grow more the business online with more, have more presence presence to start attracting more visitors. Okay, fantastic. And definitely, like you mentioned HubSpot, you know, obviously we're HubSpot partner and lots of people are familiar with HubSpot, but what different ways are you using to acquire new clients? Is it mostly, you know, outreach, like you mentioned, call, uh, call calling? Uh, what seems to be working the best at the moment? Well, at the moment, mm -hmm. as I said, Part of our new strategy is put all our efforts on inbound. Obviously, we are in this first stage of the of this journey. I will say to you, we have visitors on our website, but we have not the amount of visitors we want to convert. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, to be able to convert people on your site, you need to obviously customize your site. You need to to make the site appealing and we are in the process for, for now, I will say it's a it's cold marketing, but also we are very, very focused on our customers. We have a huge database of customers and our one of the main focus we are approach we have is um, continuing offering relevant things to our existing clients mm -hmm. very good and no no that definitely makes sense because if you have happy customers they will yes. talk and they will bring you more happy yeah customers. yeah yeah this is part of the delight delight yeah. delight phase Passe, phase how do you say it? delight yeah, stage yeah yeah, yeah the yeah. inbound marketing yeah Exactly, exactly. And like that, you were saying that, you know, you people coming to the website, you don't quite have, you know, enough traffic or getting enough leads. I mean, how important uh, going forward is the website? One is like supplying all the information to your current customers, you know, keeping them happy. But how important is the website, you know, maybe going forward to generating new customers or new uh, leads? Well, the website, I will say, is one of our more important assets we are working on. Uh, as I said, um, we need to work. We start working on the website right now. We recently um, migrate our Word, WordPress site to HubSpot because HubSpot is amazing as a marketer. It's very easy and faster move the things. So right now we are in the stage of mapping the site in the way that is going to be attract for our visitors. It's not in the way that we want the page to be right now. As I said, we are working on it. And definitely inbound marketing is going to be the most powerful 
um, a strategy we can take in near future because obviously you need to be on on Google on the search engine to attract people and if it's not just only attract them but to stay there so one one of our one thing we want to focus is obviously deliver value to our visitors and value it means value content value information provide educational content because out there people have lots of questions about for example high bees what colors are for what kind of um ESOs, ESOs uh, needs to be what kind of issues a garment have to be in order to be used for a person that work in the construction area, in the rail area. So there are a lot of questions there and we are put everything like, write it down first, what kind of content we are going to develop for our customers, obviously base all of these on keyword research, but also we take very, very, very seriously our, our contacts, our prospects, a questions very seriously to answer the right question with the right information. Yeah, definitely. No, that sounds really key. And kind of switching gears a little bit and going from, let's say, line safety to your role, you know, as a leader within marketing, Blanca, I mean, what keeps you busy on a, a day-to-day -day basis? You know, eh, lots of things, but I try to put all the time the important things that needs to be done because then we, we, we at some point can become, we can become very over, overwhelmed because digital marketing is very big spectrum. It's from social to develop your personas. Well, in early stage, we just pass this, this stage of, our personas development now is do SEO research to try to generate content. So basically my days at Alliance Safety are organizing content from the buyer's journey, mm -hmm. developing briefs, a check and organize the website, but no, not right now inside the, web, the website by mapping the website, mapping the journey. So right now we are in the, we will say at this moment we are working in the, in the, as you, you know, the, and what is going to hold all the strategy. Mm, okay. Okay, that, no, that, that makes sense. Um, perfect, no, that, you know, it's an exciting time when you, you know, everything that's coming together and it sounds like you're, you're busy. <laughs> it is very exciting. It is very exciting. And I think the most important thing that keeps my mind busy always, always, and always is what my persona is going to think, what they will do, what they will ask. How mm -hmm. can I answer that question or how this person is going to, it's relevant this for that person. If it's not relevant, we just take it off. It is kind of part of my days is be kind of a filter. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that makes sense. And to kind of switch gears a little bit now that we're coming up towards the end of the podcast, uh, uh, one thing I love to do is like our rapid fire questions. So you ready for some questions for just throw me all of them. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. So, uh, Blanca, what was the uh, the last book you read? The last what? Sorry. Book. book. Oh, I'm reading right now. Well, a lot. I'm reading right now one. Uh, the golden, oh my God, I forgot. But the last one of these, it was Taya, they ask your answer book from Marcus Sheridan, which is amazing. I do really recommend you to read because it helps you to visualize a lot of things as a marketer. What mm -hmm. are the main questions people normally have regardless whatever industry you work in? So how you will drive these people 
with different kind of content, with different kind of, and I mean writing content, video content and things like that from your website. How you will drive these people, your audience, through the buyer's journey is beautiful. I did, I really recommend it. Fantastic. I'll, I'll definitely have to check it out. And uh, yep. I'm sure that some of our listeners will as well. Um, also, imagine if you're going back and it's your first day at Lion Safety. What advice would you give yourself or what would you do differently? This is an amazing question. <laughs> because I was so lucky. I was lucky when I came to Lion Safety because uh, we started working with this agency and then they coaching us mm -hmm. to learn a lot of things about the buyer's journey, a lot of things about HubSpot, a lot of things about how to understand our personas. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I will make, I will advise me something at that point because I'm always like a sponge, try to get all the knowledge and use it. But I will say to myself, Keep going with them and always keep going always with the flow regarding of what your customers want. Because listening your customers, listening your prospects is the most important thing you can do as a marketer, regardless what um tools you are using, what social media you are using, what emails you are developing, you need to be focused on your customers, prospects, 100%. Great, great answer. I agree 100%. So yeah, 100%. Yeah. So um, what I want to do is because we're coming to the end. Um, thank you. So, so fast. <laughs> so fast. So uh, what I want to do is give you the last word. I mean, imagine if someone was on this interview, on this podcast, and they, they forgot everything that we just shared. But if you want to leave them with one thing to remember about line safety, what would that be? From, from the brand, from Lion Safety, I would like people to remember that we are here to solve people's problem and to help them, not only to sell garments, because garments are not the end. In the end user is our priority and protect them properly are our priority. So yes, this one. Fantastic, fantastic. So thank you so much for being on this podcast. And thank you for having me. You're very welcome, Donata. So that is it. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> is it for today um i look forward to seeing everybody on the next episode of patmon presents all the best and bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.